Hey there loves! Welcome back to my channel. If you've just hopped into this video, welcome! This is Jean Castillo de Jesus and I release videos in which I share my know-hows on the nitty-gritty of English and research. If you want to reinforce your learnings on these topics, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you wouldn't miss any of my uploads. In my previous lesson, I discussed how to write the hypothesis. And in this video, we will tackle the importance or significance of the study, which is the next subpart in chapter 1. By the way, I would like to emphasize that in our institution, we use the term importance of the study. But in other institutions, there are also other formats. They utilize the term significance of the study. But both are correct and they serve similar purpose like what I always say. This video lesson will be composed of several parts. Of course, we will tackle the overview of the importance or significance of the study, its contents, and the criteria in writing a good importance or significance of the study, and most especially, what you are anticipating for is a sample importance or significance of the study which will be provided at the end of this video. Without much ado, let us get the ball rolling. The importance or significance of the study essentially informs the readers on how the study will contribute to the well-being of a person or progress of a group or society in general. Kari, Naval, and Prieto, 2017. For example, in addressing social problems like the COVID-19 pandemic in your research work, the findings can benefit foremost the patients or the victims themselves and their respective families, the medical and healthcare frontliners, policy makers like the Department of Health and Department of Social Welfare and Development, the leaders in both the national and local government, healthcare practitioners, as well as the non-government organizations. In this part, the researchers present the benefits and beneficiaries of the study. In the first paragraph, the general benefits should be written. And in the next paragraph, these specific benefits should be presented through the chronological listing of the beneficiaries. And when I say chronological, that means that you have to arrange the beneficiaries according to the most benefited to the least benefited. For instance, your study is dealing with parental engagement and academic achievement, then your most benefited beneficiary or the foremost beneficiary will be the students and second are the parents and you can have the teachers next so forth also include the higher bureaucracies like the department of education commission on higher education among others as long as they are relevant to your chosen research problem and lastly you have to include the future researchers because your study will serve as a source of literature for them. Furthermore, here are the criteria in writing a good importance or significance of the study. In form, the title of the subpart must be highlighted. Only the first letter of the content words should be capitalized. So if you are using the title significance of the study, the content words there are significance and study. So the S in significance and the S in the study should only or should be the only letters to be capitalized or encoded in uppercase. On the other hand, if you use the term importance of the study, the I in importance and the S in the study should be the only ones to be capitalized. And then of course, it must be in paragraph form spell out the names of the agencies like Department of Health instead of writing DOH instead of writing the acronym you have to provide the complete name 
Then, underline the name of the beneficiaries. Sentences should be in declarative form. The first paragraph should discuss the general benefits derived from the study. The second paragraph should discuss specific benefits. Present the individual beneficiary and the benefits derived in paragraph form. Put a period after the end of the beneficiary. In content or substance, you have to discuss the importance of the study to society, country, government, institution, agency concerned, thesis writer himself or herself. Expound the study's probable impact to education, science, culture, technology, component researchers, among others. Give justification of the study in terms of contributions to theory and practice. Touch on the significance of the study to the researcher or to his study itself and what it does to his profession the difference it makes to his own profession, the solution of the study is of main value to the society in general and to the author's field of interest in particular. Involve a new or existing theory that is profoundly useful to the agency, administrator, personnel, teachers, and students, and provide a noteworthy contribution to the existing body of knowledge and for the practitioners in the field. This time, we will have your most anticipated part, the sample importance or significance of the study. That's it for today's video. I hope you learned a thing or two from me. If I was able to help you craft your own importance or significance of the study, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell to keep you posted of my lessons. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and I hope you love research. Bye!